Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video for Game Week 35. We'll have a look at my plans, but before that, let's see who did well in our leagues for Game Week 34. Top scorer in our league was Darren Parker with Chonburium Real with 177 points, which is quite good. So how was that achieved? That was Fernandez Captain 36. So kudos for going for a single game week player when there are lots of doubles out there to choose from. Mateta 29, Branthwaite 20, White 26, Eze 14, Gabriel 12, Henderson 5. And on the bench, which was boosted, Pickford 18 and Byrne 1. So that was an extra 19 points. But even without the bench boost, it would have been a very good score. So that is, I think, a very good bench boost. And that will probably be a lot of bench boosters in game week 37. Top of our league is Ziad Bramham with Tien Guna. They managed 158 points. That was with Mateta 29, Captain Eze 28, White 26, Elise 13, Pickford 18, Gabriel 12, Brereton Diaz 9, Solanke 8. So lots of points all over the place there. And on the bench, Becker 5, but Pickford was better, and Mikulenko 7. So as a good score and top of our league so well done as for me i'm down in 112th with 112 points so that's a nice bit of symmetry there i had a white for 26 pickford and fernandez both got 18 Havertz 17 watkins 9 saka 9 captain Salah 6 and that's all and look at that i got the bench right again albeit it's because i had players not playing but it still kind of counts <laughs> uh, yeah so no bench so I got a little green arrow, which is nice. I am now 285 points behind top spot. So with four game weeks left, if I can outscore the top team by about 74 points for the next four weeks, I can still win the whole thing. Thank you very much to everyone who watches these videos. It is very much appreciated. And to those who like and subscribe, leave comments as well. Thank you. In the cup, we're currently following Pranav Rane, whose team is Action Jackson. And they were drawn against... Gurje Hundel with FPL Gol Goloso. And Action Jackson was victorious with 115 points. That was with Mateta 29, Eze 28, Havert 17, Gabriel 12, Saka 9, Solanke 8, and Zabani 7. And on the bench, nothing. So well done. We'll be following him again next week to see how he fares there. In the fantasy challenge and sorry I'm, I'm laughing because it clearly hasn't taken off much I don't think many people are properly playing this but we're still looking at it anyway and Lucy Hyam was the top scorer this week with snap crackle and pope with 136 points that was managed with Brereton Diaz captain with 36 Havert 17 White 26 Saliba 14 Gabrielle 12 McAtee 12 Archer 6 Morris 4 and on the bench, there was Pickford for 18, so was the wrong keeper. AS6, and that's all. Regarding the Content Creators League, you go to FPL Game Week, you can see how the Content Creators are doing, and when you look, you'd see where you would appear. And Ben Krellin is the current top Content Creator. He's on 2,252 points. Good old Harry's moved up to third now, and Fran slipped down to sixth. But they're all definitely worth following, I'd say. As for me, I'd be all the way down in 50th, which is a bit lower than James from Planet FPL, Nim, who's currently in 46th, and then Nima at 43. So um, they're all people I like to listen to and follow and chat to on social media too. So what am I going to do? Game week 35. I have two free transfers, so I might as well do something. And as things stand, I have no Tottenham players and three Chelsea players, one of which is injured. So Salah, I'm highly likely to sell him and probably for Foden. Last week I sold Foden to get him Fernandez, but I had two free transfers. Fernandez got two points more than Foden, so it was kind of all right because it didn't really cost me anything. And I always intended to bring Foden back anyway. And then on top of that, I may well sell Saka and bring in Gordon. So this move is quite likely, I'd say, pretty likely. On top of that, I could take a minus four and take out Darwin Nunes, who I don't really care for anymore. And I could either bring in Hoyland for Man United or Werner for Spurs. They have got a double 
And I kind of think he's a bit like Darwin and Jackson in that he gets a lot of opportunities and he just keeps missing them. But one of these days he's going to get some goals. Now, the North London derby against Arsenal, I wouldn't really expect much there because Arsenal are defensively very good. But with the atmosphere, he may get lucky. But the second game is back against Chelsea, where he used to play. And so many times when strikers go back against their old club, they score. And we've seen it several times this season. So on the strength of the Chelsea game, I'm very tempted to get him. And I could also sell Watkins and get both of these. But I'm less likely to do that. And my defence is very shocking at the moment. So I could take a minus 8 or a minus 12 and do lots of moves. But I don't think I will because... I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe I should take a big minus. So how's my team looking for game week 35? Now, assuming I do take out Salah and Saka and bring in Gordon and Foden, it would look like this. We'd have Palmer as captain, away to Villa and home to Spurs with his mate Petrovic in goal. We'd have the Vice with Gordon at home to Sheffield United with his mate Isaac. Fernandes at home to Burnley. We'd have Watkins at home to Chelsea, defensively Defensively, Chelsea are shocking. Watkins can score against anyone, so I think there's a chance of some points there. Aiton Nori at home to Luton. White away to Spurs. Probably nothing there, but I'm short of defenders, as you'll see, <laughs> with his mate Havertz in midfield. Robertson away to West Ham. Wouldn't expect a clean sheet there. There's a remote chance of an attacking return. And then Foden away to Forest. And then my bench would be Pickford at home to Brentford. Darwin away to West Ham. Gusto, who's in theory got a double, but it's looking like he's injured. And I don't really want to be playing him if he's going to come on for a few minutes in the second game. I might as well play one of my other boys. And then Trippier, who's I held on since my wild card a few weeks ago, thinking he's nearly back and he's still not back. And the reality is he may not even play again this season. But that's why I am with that. My, with my team at the moment they're not the best as for the background image I couldn't think what to do so it's as simple as this time of year we have bluebells out in England so a nice little picture of some bluebells there so there we have it my plans for game week 35 and what happened in game week 34 I really don't know if I'm going to take a hit of four or eight or 12 points or just do one transfer or two probably going to do two not absolutely certain yet but I'll try and remember to post my team on X tomorrow morning before the deadline. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. <laughs>